You already filmed? Yeah. Take one, yeah? Is that you ready? Yeah, go on. Hi, Rupert. How are you? Oh. Yeah. What inspired you to become a filmmaker? Um, there's nothing that really inspired me. I just It's just a thing that was like a hobby from when I was young. And I just loved it. And luckily, I managed to make it professional. Do you have any idols? Um, there was, Ronaldinho was my main idol. I grew up really. Okay. Do you think you were too young to play for United or to go to United at that time? I don't think I don't think a player is ever too young to play for a team if he's good enough. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I I just think what's it called? Obviously, at the time that I went to Man United, they were going through a a change. So obviously, at the time that I went, I'm a new player and an, an the old manager. So Alex Ferguson bought me. So obviously the new manager that's coming in, he's got his own ideas. So obviously at the time that I went, obviously it didn't work out. So I don't think it's about being too young. It's just the situation that I was in went right at the time. What kind of a manager is David Moyes? I think he's a decent manager. He was just under pressure at the time. Obviously if you're under pressure, you're going to go with what you think is best. Like the, the more experienced players. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I didn't have anything against him. I think he's a good manager. Would you have chosen Ivory Coast if you had the ch second chance to choose? Um, per I think what's it called? My reasons for picking England is because I came here when I was four. You grew up here. I grew up here mainly, so I don't really remember Ivory Coast. Obviously, I've got family from there, but it's a thing where I all I know is London, basically. So that's why I picked England over Ivory Coast. How does it feel to have won the award Young Player of the Year in 2012? Um, it's a great achievement, obviously, from coming from, from coming from nothing, like just playing in the streets with my friends or whatever, to managing to get there and get Player of the Year. I was buzzing, happy. As a last question, you made your international football debut when you came on as a sub substitute in the match against Sweden. What do you think of Ibrahimovic's game? Um, he, to be honest, I wasn't exactly surprised by the stuff he did because he's a world-class player. But I was just happy to be on the pitch at the same time the when same he scored time. a crazy goal. But yeah, that was a crazy experience and I was just happy I was actually there to experience it. What did you think when he scored the goal? I just thought... Did you look at your teammates and think... No, I was literally... Um, when when the ball went back over his head, I thought no, he's not gonna he's not gonna attempt to do the bicycle kick. But he he's a big guy, but his his movement's crazy, so I was just surprised. So what's your final opinion on him? Um, I just think he's a. I personally, I like everything about him. He's not just arrogant when he can't to back up his talk. If you're arrogant and you can play, and you can show that you're world class, then. You why not? Full package. Full package, then why yeah. not? Alright, Wilfred, thank you for your time. Thank you very thank much. You for the interview.